Well, Mr. Speaker, I'm proud of our record supporting people with a cost of living. Well, let's just sit on a shelf for a moment that it was this government that gave us the highest inflation in 40 years, the highest debt in 60 years, and the highest taxation in 70 years, which is some record. I'm happy to come back every week if I have to, to remind the Prime Minister that never in living memory have families got so much poorer over a single parliament. That despite his government's hollow promises of levelling up, social mobility in this country is at its worst in over 50 years. That 13 years of Conservative government has left millions living in poverty and using food banks. A million adults in this country can't even afford to eat every day. Nine million are skipping meals and cutting back on food. And with winter coming, millions will be forced to go without heating, including the elderly and most vulnerable. And it just gets worse. The number of children in food poverty has actually doubled in the last year. We've got a million households on waiting lists for social housing. Untreated sewage dumped in our rivers and crumbling schools and hospitals. None of this is a legacy to be proud of, it's a cause of national shame. Whilst we're helping people with the cost of living, all Labour's ideas are doing are costing them a fortune. Seriously? Imagine the Prime Minister's shock when someone tells him that not only is it the Conservative government that's in power, it's been there for 13 years. 